Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCart, and welcome to our Thursday Night Rock and Pork collaboration. And tonight, Dorothy, we're not coming to you from Kansas, nor are we coming to you from Asheville, North Carolina. But tonight, we're coming to you from Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And behind me is Pikes Peak hiding under the clouds. So we have a great lineup for you tonight. You have me starting off at 6.30. You have Lori Houston at 6.45. And at seven o'clock, we finish off this night with Angela Bliss Art. So without any further ado, let's get this night started. It's Louise with Louise McCart, and welcome. Thank you for being here. And uh, if you haven't been here before, I try to do a lot of functional art, and I take what I've learned in the last couple years on canvas and on tiles, and I try to apply it to things that are other than canvas or tiles. Um, in this case, this is a lazy Susan, or a, I'm going to call it a turntable, and I'm going to use the same combination of paints that I used for my a set of coasters. I'll put the video number up in a minute. This is actually a KS Resin Competition color scheme that I uh, whipped up. And I was gonna do a tray, but because I am getting short on time to get something resined before the end of the month, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a, a turntable because with this, I can spin paint off the tray I cannot. I have to let the tray sit at least 18 days to thoroughly dry before I put any resin on it. This I can do in less than that. So I've got my colors here. I've got a combination here of, uh, it's a, it started out with Golden's Cerulean Blue, and then some um, Treasure Gold, what is it? Treasure Gold Blue Quartz. And I'll put in the description all that's in there. This here is a combination of Arteza's uh, Payne's Gray and Golden's Payne's Gray. This is a weird combination. Started out as Artist Loft uh, uh, Deep Green, and then I worked from there to get the particular color. This is mostly Arteza's Pearl, uh, Pearl Sky Blue. It's Pearl Sky Blue combined with a little bit of golden, combined with a little bit of golden phthalo green. And this is the easy one. This is Liquitex Paints Gray. So my American Floatrol Cell Activator, Multi-Pro. And let me get you down as soon as, <laughs> that moved the camera, didn't it? I'll get you down a second as soon as I get the pillow laid down. All right, I am back for a third try. I was not happy with what I had going on the first two tries. I've readjusted consistencies of the cu couple paints. Whoops, got something in there. I don't know if I got it. I adjusted some consistencies and I remade, and I made a new cell activator. Because I think it was too thick. Whoops. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't clean up in between what you're doing. Make a mess. All right, that's the water bottle. So everyone, because I'm just laying the colors down here, I am going twice the speed or more. You can see what I'm doing. I'm laying it down in my normal drizzle. I'm laying it down in the order that I uh, showed you the colors. And yeah, I'm just drizzling and drizzling and I'm gonna make sure I have enough laid down before I blow it out. So I'm just gonna put on some music and then when we get to the blowout, I will go back to real time.
So here all I'm doing is adding the titanium white cell activator. It's my video 141. I'll link it above. And then I'm going to get ready to blow this out. I'm going to turn down the volume, but I'm going to talk through it too. So I'm blowing it out on cool and high fan on my little Berta. And I aim toward the center back of where the cell activator was placed and then try to skim it out the cell activator over the colors and the colors over the pillow, just like I do when I blow out a coaster with my lungs. So I just aim the hair dryer to the back center of the cell activator and blow it out. Okay. Not a bad blowout. I'm not gonna play in the middle too much. I'm gonna let the middle be itself. I might give it a little blow after I get done just working these edges a little bit. I'm gonna give it a chance to come back. It's a brand new cell activator. So I'm quick timing through this. I'm just breaking the surface tension of the outside edge of the pillow. So as I get ready to start spinning it, it'll, it'll be already ready to flow in the direction of the edge. This is actually really important and uh, it does help in the way the paint flows and spreads out. Gentle. Spin. Even though this is my third time, I still have to be patient. I don't want it walking that far in that direction. I want to go that way, buddy. Go that way. And go that way. And then when you're done going that way, Go that way too. Okay. I don't want that to spread so far. So as I do my initial spins, I'm very careful and controlled in how I want this to spread itself out. Go that way. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna wonkify what's going on in here by being stubborn. Okay, I've got something in the paint. So I wanna point out here that I'm deliberately pulling the paint to the edge on that side because that's the side I want it to start flowing faster to. Gentle. Okay, I'm liking this one so far. Whoa. Yes. Nicely. Notice how that side spread faster than the others. Okay, that's gonna start rolling on each other. So let me steal some paint over here, stick some over here. See, I don't need any more paint. I got plenty of paint here. I just got to kiss it with the edge. Now that's going to come off the edge now. That's okay. We're about ready to go full edge. So far, I don't think I need to do much. I don't think I need to do anything with this thing. Always be mindful of where your hand is. You don't want to ever go across the top. So I'm going to pick up the pace here. You've seen me at real speed, so you see how I've been working to get this thing to start flowing out. I would really appreciate it if you haven't yet. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends, leave comments. I share so many free tips with everybody. I would really appreciate that support. So as we go through this, I'm going to cut out some of the spinning and some of the cleanup. You see what I'm doing and you'll get the gist of this as we go.
So after that nice, easy, slow spread, I have the composition pretty much where I want it to. And I have some negative space, which I want, but I don't want to have it to be stark negative space. So I'm just working the palette knife through some of the sp spots to add a little bit of interest to those white areas. It's done. I'm going to call it done. I'm going to call it that's a wrap. So stay Probably tuned. We have the resin results at the end as well by the time this is all finished. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Here are the colors that I had to match and I can say with certainty that this is about the best dead nuts match there was in the competition but I didn't win. So I live and learn and go on and I was bummed about that. Anyway, so please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the thumbs up like, share, and comment. And now let's see what Lori Houston Art has in store for us.